defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 60 red. 60 red. Go. He'll drop to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the Lions force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. To throw, Bridgewater. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. Final play of the half, Bridgewater. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape. As we look around the NFL here in week number seven, we'll start in the NFC North. Minnesota playing host to Chicago up at U.S. Bank Stadium. And in the second quarter, it's the Bears who are out in front. A couple of touchdown strikes there from Justin Fields. Trail in that ball game. Jimmy Garoppolo with three. Well, we'll move right through the break then, skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Being chased out left. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Well, the corner gets a hand on it, but he still makes the play. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, 
but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Floor, some confidence in his offense. His guy's going here on fourth down. They'll treat it as they convert on fourth. Right back to him on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's uh, a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. They're going to look to throw. That is caught, and it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 26. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. On first down, he'll drop to throw, and that's complete. It's Sims, and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Up the middle they go. Donald, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 44 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense in on that. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Egyptians have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Ah, oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left, and he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Carlson, it's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. So the completion gets them just a yard and third and eight now. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Bridgewater. 
Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. Taking it right down Broadway. Now he's into the clear again. Touchdown, Detroit. Jameer Gibbs with touchdown number three in the game and six on the year. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Definitely in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Donald, and that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Now a handoff up the middle. Donald knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. Here's a second and seven. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? There they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15 yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On first down, Donald. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. The Lions now going to use the second of their time. Eight yards to go. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. And he'll be tackled after a gain of four. Still three yards short. Fourth down. So here now is Anders Carlson in a really big spot. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And hit. 
His kick is right there. It's good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So he's able to come through in a hostile environment, and you'd have to imagine that's the game winner. Yeah, how about that? And the way that this game's gone, you think they really wanted to get to overtime and take their chances there? They wanted to get this thing done. When you're the visitor, you don't want to play into overtime. You want to knock it down, get it done, and go home. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. They'll come up first and 10 here. Bridgewater to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Here comes second down. Here's Bridgewater. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Good job to come in here in a tough environment, Charles, and get the victory. Yeah, tough environment indeed. How about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us, partner? They weren't real happy that their team didn't keep the home field. How about how these visitors came in, calm every step of the way, even with all the pressure, and found a way to get out of here with a win. So for Memphis, the win moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Detroit, the loss drops them back to four and three so far. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.